Well, absolutely, Mr. President, Madam Prime Minister, Mr. Vice President, distinguished ambassadors and distinguished audience, it's a great privilege to address today at this conference. Uh, you know, the thing is that the world has changed dramatically. And my country, and not only my country, the entire free world is facing huge challenges. We had so-called a golden era after the Berlin Wall fell and after the prominent phrase, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. So Mr. Putin is deaf. He decided to build a new wall. And he decided to draw the new lines after the Second World War. And it started in 2008 in Georgia. And frankly speaking, the global reaction on the Russian aggression against Georgia had to be more consistent. Uh, we digested this aggression. Putin crossed the red line and then afterwards Russian president and Russian regime decided to illegally annex Crimea, to invade Donetsk and Lugansk, and to start a large-scale offensive operation against the independent country. He is challenging the leadership of the free world. And you ask a very important question, what is the response of the European Union? And I will tell you, the best recipe and the best way to respond is to stay united, to act boldly, and always to be on the front line, not to be on the back foot. And I truly commend the efforts of the European Union and of the United States of America in their decision to impose sanctions on Russia, both linked to illegal annexation of Crimea and Russian invasion into Donetsk and Lugansk. Uh, you named your panel with a quite new definition, which is uh, geoeconomics. It resembles me like frenemies, you know, like frenemies. Uh, geopolitical challenges severely affect the economy. Just imagine, after the Russian invasion, we lost 20% of Ukrainian economy. Uh, the budget expenditures, I mean military expenditures, exceeded 5%. We lost 65 out, out of 90 coal mines in the country. We lost huge infrastructure. But the biggest losses are the losses of the lives of human beings. Uh, we need to realize that this challenge is to be addressed. Because look what's happening in Syria. He is challenging once again the European Union. As Russians decided to build up combat base, as they are the closest allies and closest supporters of dictator Bashar al-Assad, they are well aware that this crisis will affect the European Union as the refugee crisis is a disaster for the European Union too. He knows this and you know that. So it means that once again we need to stay united. Russian aggression against Ukraine is just not the war against Ukraine. He waged the war against the European values again and against the values of the free world. Uh, this invasion and all this kleptocratic and totalitarian regime has a huge dreadful implications on the global economy and on the prosperity and safety, Mr. Vice President, you mentioned. Our safety and our prosperity is in jeopardy. So let us not allow anyone to violate the UN Charter to put in jeopardy our nations. Let's stay united and let's fight for our freedoms and liberties and for our strong and robust economies.